Either from science fiction or from the childhood wallpapers, robots are structured in front of us as machines of nostalgia. But kudos to this country's advanced technology and efficiency that one might fail to distinguish between a robot and a human, as they are so human alike. They are humanoid robots from Japan. And now a step ahead, there are some female humanoid robots in the field of robotics who are constantly catching the spotlight. In today's video, we are going to show you some extraordinary creations from the robotic field, Japanese female humanoid robots. So watch this video till the end. Hello and welcome back to the AI Universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. That being said, let's begin the video. As the world knows, in the field of industrial robotics, Japan has retained its position as the world's leading robot exporter in terms of both dollar value and number of operating units. With highly competitive research, development, and applied technologies, Japan leads the world in robotics. Regarding this sector, more progress is being made so that Japan may become a developer of innovative services as well as a base for developing robots that will aid in societal transformation. But what is a human robot by definition? A humanoid robot is shaped like a human body. The design could be for utilitarian goals such as engaging with human tools and settings, or it could be for experimental objectives such as studying bipedal walking. Humanoid robots feature a torso, a head, two arms and two legs in general, while some humanoid robots may merely duplicate a portion of the body, such as the waist up. Some humanoid robots have heads that are meant to look like human characteristics like eyes and mouths. To put it simply, androids or humanoids are robots that are designed to look like humans. Now, enough of the anticipation. Let's go through some of the amazing female humanoid robots that are products of Japan. The first robot from our list is not just a robot but a star, Erika. Ahead of schedule, an artificial intelligence robot named Erika is slated to star in the film B, which began filming in 2019. Erika is a high-tech android that was created as a research platform for studying human-robot interaction. It speaks in natural language, has a human-like voice, and can make a range of facial expressions. It has the capabilities for natural conversation and motion generation. Having a facial expression creates a human-like look that is ultra-realistic. The humanoid robot was created by Japanese scientists Hiroshi Ishiguro and Kohei Ogawa to research human-computer interaction. Erika loves anime. She is a die-hard fan. She hopes to go to Southeast Asia and wants a life partner with whom she can interact effortlessly. Her head and eye movements are worth noticing. I bet you can't tell that she is a robot without observing thoroughly. Erika, on the other hand, seems and sounds significantly more natural than Ishiguro's silicone doppelganger or Geminoid F, his prior human-like robot. Though she is unable to walk freely, she has improved her speech and the ability to hear and answer queries with uncannily human-like changes in her facial expression accompanying each statement. The next robot which comes to meet with all of you is Actroid. Actroid, the humanoid robot developed by Osaka University and manufactured by Kokoro Company Limited, it has a strong visual human likeness. It was first shown off at the Tokyo International Robot Exhibition in 2003. In the majority of cases, the robot's appearance is based on a typical young Japanese woman. The Actroid Lady is a pioneering example of a genuine machine that is akin to fictional machines referred to as androids or gynoids in science fiction. Blinking, speaking, and breathing are just a few of the lifelike functions it can imitate. Actroid can make eye contact and gesture in the direction of someone who is attempting to communicate with her. This allows her to handle large crowds with ease. Internal sensors enable Actroid models to react realistically via air actuators installed at numerous points of articulation across the upper torso. Movement in its lower body has been limited. The robot's sensing system in combination with its air-powered movements allows it to react to or fend off invasive motions like a slap or a poke. That means she can be really irritated if you try to poke her. Its artificial intelligence allows it to respond differently to gentler forms of touch. Well, till now, if you haven't been horrified by the impending robot revolution, the Japan Science Museum is here for you. Just have a look at it on the internet. The next one is going to be quite different from the others. Why? Then check out this robot, Alter. The Japanese Science Museum debuted its newest piece, Alter, a human-like robot. The robot's movements are controlled by a neural network, which is a learning computer system fashioned after the organization of neurons in the human brain. This could be the most terrifying humanoid robot form you've ever heard of. We guarantee that this Japanese robot will add fuel to your creepiest dreams and terrible nights. The robot was created to investigate what it means to be lifelike. Alter appears to be completely dismantled machine. It displays lifelikeness, however, by intricate movements. 
These movements may appear arbitrary, yet they are continually changing because of the underlying algorithm which mirrors the logic of live organisms' brain networks. Rolling down to the next is modeled on the Professor Nadia Magnanat Thalman, Nadine is its name, a gynoid humanoid social robot with natural-looking skin and hair, as well as lifelike hands, this robot has a strong human-like appearance. Nadine is a socially intelligent robot that greets you, makes eye contact, and remembers all of your discussions. Depending on the substance of the interaction with the user, it can answer questions autonomously in different languages and imitate emotions through gestures and facial expressions. Nadine can recognize people she has met before and naturally converse with them, Nadine has been given a personality, meaning that her demeanor can shift depending on what is said to her. It has impeccable facial expressions and upper body movements. Nadine has a total of 27 degrees of freedom. When it comes to people it has met before, it recalls facts and events about each of them. It can read stories, present graphics, hold Skype sessions, send emails, and connect with other family members to help persons with special needs. It can work as a receptionist in an office or dedicate itself to being a personal coach. By replacing Ava, a humanoid robot head produced by Hanson Robotics in 2008, Nadine marked itself as a next-generation humanoid robot. And here we are ending the list with Asuna. You guys decide after the introduction whether you want to call it a teenager or a little girl robot. Asuna is an android that was initially unveiled at the 2015 Wonder Festival Winter in Chiba, Japan by Hiroshi Ishiguro in collaboration with the team at Tokyo-based A-Lab. It appears to be a sweet 15-year-old girl standing around 155 centimeters tall and weighing around 43 kilograms. Asuna has beautiful skin and delicate facial features, including soft and squishy human-like ears. The movements of the robots are currently confined to blinking, yawning, and a few other charming expressions, all of which are controlled solely by a distant human operator. Seeing a robot, people often think to themselves, that's creepy. But on the contrary, when someone sees humanoid robots like Asuna, which appear so human-like, one certainly comes up with a thought, she's cute. Researchers discovered that when people view something that appears to be too human while still falling short of appearing exactly like a genuine thing, such as a doll or robot, they have an instinct to respond with revulsion. However, researchers are currently looking into the possibility that highly human-like robots like Asuna may be able to circumvent this rejection totally and be seen as ordinary people. As every coin has two sides, meanwhile each creation too. There is no doubt that robotic technology has a large contribution to the 21st century. But the uncanny valley idea, conceived by Japanese researcher Masahiro Mori in the 1970s, claims that we respond positively to robots with physical features that are recognizable to us, but it will certainly create a disturbance if they begin to resemble us too much. Humanoid robots have long been a source of fascination for humans. With scientific and technological developments, we've arrived at a point where everything will soon become robot-centric. The world is currently ruled by the ubiquity of infinite internet threads, computer programming, and powerful AI, and soon robots will be everywhere. And with this, the video comes to an end. We hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics, and we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace!